Two years ago, Emily and I were living in New Zealand, in Christchurch, New Zealand, helping to start a church plant. Uh, when we got a phone call, I got a phone call from my mother, letting me know that my father had passed away in an accident. And that really triggered for us um, a sort of journey that we've been on over the last couple of years, um, trying to sort through all that that has meant for us and what that has meant for our relationship with God. I had in my mind what I assumed God would do uh, for me and in me if I were to walk through a tragedy like this. I had in my mind that God was going to lift me up on wings like the eagle. God was going to um, give me peace that passed understanding. God was going to um, provide a comfort in this grief that would mean that I didn't feel it in the way that, that many people do. That would mean um, I didn't feel abandoned or alone or that I would be able to cope with the grief and and what I found was is that that was not necessarily the case for me and so it began to feel like in some ways like God was letting me down like he he was not showing up the way I had, had assumed my whole life he would show up if I needed him if I ever went through a time like this he would show up, and it just did not feel like he was. Um, instead, it felt lonely and uh, dry, and it was difficult to spend time with God, and I felt like I was giving everything I had to give and then just seeing nothing come out of it. And for me to see Logan's grief and to see him walking through ministry and feeling such a burden um, and just this desire for peace that I would pray and ask God to give. Um, and when it wouldn't show up, that's, it's just really hard. And I, th and I, and I think that's what the desert looks like. I think it's, I mean, God can handle it. God could handle every question we've asked of him this last two years, even if we didn't receive the answers we wanted. And I would even say, especially through that next year, the moments that we heard from God and we saw God in our grief would have been through others and the ways that they loved us. And while that is huge, that's so important, um, and that is just as much as of God speaking to us and being present in our lives and with us, it felt very different to hearing God's voice. I think uh, another thing that you said that I think is really true is that so often what we want is answers that are immediate or um, an ending to the story right now. We want um, for God to step in and fix our situation and have it all make sense and to, um, to be done with it, to sort of wrap it up and, and move on. Um, but things like this, I think, play out over years and decades um, and on into eternity. What God is doing, how he'll show up, doesn't all have to be done right now. Um, so he may not be there right now uh, in the way that I hoped he would be there, uh, but that doesn't mean he's never gonna fix it. He never will step in and do the healing work that I am longing for. If we can hang on. <laughs>